Hello Cancer, and welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin, and Cancer, today we're going to do a reading about the person on your mind. We're going to find out what they're thinking about you, what they're feeling about you, what you need to know, and uh, what you can expect from this person in the next couple of weeks. So Spare Guides, what is going on with the person on Cancer's mind? Express your love. Ooh. So go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So you might have a romancer on your hands here. Let's see what's going on. How are they feeling about Cancer? Seven of Wands in reverse. And Cancer, for those of you who are interested, I'm doing personal readings. So if you want one of those, the link is in the description box below. So we have the Seven of Wands in reverse, the Two of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse. I think that was the Hanged Man, but I couldn't really see. There's the Empress in reverse. And the, whoa, we have a divine couple here, uh, Cancer, but um, they're both upside down. Everyone's upside down. The Hanged Woman. Everybody, what is going on here? All right, let's figure this out. That was just sloppy. My apologies. <laughs> Talk to us. One more card here for Cancer. What is this? The Six of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Okay, so the person on your mind, there's a Six of Cups in reverse. And the Five of Cups. There's a lot of bad memories with this person, um, but they miss you. But I don't know if they can get over something that happened here in the past. I think they're dwelling on something from the past here. The Seven of Wands. And the way they feel about you is... Um, they're looking at you differently here. Seven of Wands in reverse. What do you want to say about that? Judgments in reverse. The Lovers. And the Ace of Cups. So there's a lot of bad. There's a Six of Cups again in reverse. So And the Moon in reverse. So I'm not sure the history here, uh, Cancer, but there's definitely history between you and the person on your mind. So if this is a cancer and you're coming here for a video of someone you just met, this is not your reading. Um, this is for someone that you were in a long-term partnership with or have a history with. Um, there's a lot of bad things, a lot of bad memories. Well, either that or this person's focusing on the negative aspect of your partnership and forgetting about the good. Or, let me rephrase that. They did in the past. But right now... They're remembering the good times. They're looking at things very differently. We're going to find out what that is. And they're looking at you differently, but they want this connection. Um, they want to tell you how they feel. They want to come in and romance you. Judgment in reverse is they've made their choice. They've made their decision. Um, same, two pentacles in reverse. But the knight of wands in reverse, what do you want to say about that? The knight of pentacles in reverse and the king of pentacles. Notice he's down, he's down here. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, because there's an awful lot of motherfucking pentacles here, Cancer. Yeah. So this king, but why the Knight of Wands in reverse? They want to, um, it's going to sound really strange. In the past, they may have been very dependent on you, or you might have been dependent on them, and they want things to be more equal. So let's say um, you were the breadwinner, and this person kept getting fired from their jobs, and you were paying and paying and paying and paying. They don't want to be like that anymore. I know that's like an extreme example, but it's that kind of thing where I feel like you are giving more in a financial aspect. They might have been, or it was the other way around, but somebody was dependent on somebody and they, they want it to be an equal partnership when they return. They want to create that balance. That's why they're looking at things differently. And that's why I feel like it was them, Cancer, who wasn't giving equally to you. Um, you might have been, you know, um, I just saw the Eight of Cups. So you might, yeah, <laughs> and then there's the Four of Wands. So there's a strong soulmate twin flame connection here. They want to repair this with you, and I feel like they're actually ready to give. That's what this looking at things differently here. What do you want to say about that hanged man in reverse? Yeah, they see your value here. They see, so it's almost like, yeah, <laughs> so it's like the energy of, um, it's like, the, okay, so let's say you, okay, this is the best example I can give. So someone who doesn't have a kid is like, oh, it's not easy. It's easy to have a kid. Oh, yeah, baby ain't shit. And then they have a baby, and they got to do it without you, and they're like, oh, my God, I didn't realize how much work cancer did. Or, you know, you, you separate and now they're in the house and you're in a different house and they got to clean, they got to cook, they got to do everything. And they're like, I didn't really know how much you did. So they're really appreciating your value and um, what you did for them. That's what they're seeing differently here. So I believe in the past they probably didn't, <laughs> probably underestimated what it was that you were doing or the effort that you were putting in or the appreciation you were showing. And all of a sudden you weren't there doing it anymore and they were like, what the and that's that's how they feel so let's talk about the future because here we have the queen of pentacles in reverse we have the king of pentacles we have the empress in reverse and we have the six of wands in reverse so this is interesting what do you want to say about the queen of pentacles first let's talk about the feminine 
There's justice in her. Ooh, ooh the feminine. Knight of Swords and the t Feminines might want to block this. Um, um, I'm not sure that it could have been the feminine that can't get over the past. Because this is definitely the masculine energy here. I feel like it was the feminine who was overgiving the masculine. wasn't. But, um, yeah. See, they're going to come rushing in because they see things differently. But I feel like you blocked this and moved on. They might have lied. But here's justice. It wasn't a balanced partnership. So you got your walls up, you got your barriers up, you got your guards up here. That's why you're in reverse, because you don't know if you want to give to this. I think you feel this person's selfish. They didn't see your value and your worth. So it's like, I don't, it's not like you didn't give them chances, Cancer. <laughs> feel like you gave them, you gave them chances. Um, they're the ones that were, I'm hearing stupid, but I like to use maybe foolish or um, maybe they were just stupid. <laughs> I don't know. They were there as an idiot. They didn't see your worth, and now they do. And I don't know if there's anything that they can do about that. Um, but they're going to come and tell you that they want to give this. They want to fix this. I can tell you that much. So they want. They're not over this. They're stuck. Like there's the card again of giving an, an imbalance. There's the scale. So they want to give to this partnership. They see your value. They definitely see and appreciate what you've done. So oh, what was that? <laughs> right you're the damn queen of pentacles and they're about to tell you they're about to show their appreciation to you cancer that's why i feel like there might be some romantic gestures coming your way because they're about to show you how they, how much they appreciate you they're going to tell you as well so they're seeing your value now now you're the queen of pentacles notice the same like the queen of pentacles and the empress in reverse but we also had them upright so well, they see your value now but the question is how do you feel? So before we find that out, let's get a few Oracle messages and we'll see where you are in a month here, Cancer. So Spirit Guides, how's Cancer and this person? Ah, sorry. What is the current connection between Cancer and this person? What do you want to say? I'm like having problems. Holy moly. So we got that. That one wants out. Hold on, one flipped. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the colors are just flying everywhere. So deeply. Look deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your relationships. Oh, look at look deep within your emotions so you got a lot of deep emotions i'm so i'm so i don't know what i was gonna say there uh, i'm so insightful you know I, anyway watch out for signs leading you to true love temptation think carefully about the situation so um really ponder what happens here so let's see what this per ah i got sage in my card sorry about that i thought it was a spider <laughs> there's a sage okay what is the hidden truth what do you want to say what is this person not saying to cancer that they wish they could say I left before you could leave me. And I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. They might have gone through a real dark night of the soul here. And what do you need to surrender to when it comes to this person on your mind, Cancer? What does Cancer need to surrender to? Surrender to rest and sleep. So to prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. And trust. I love this card. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what you do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. All right, Cancer. So let's see what path you've chosen. Let's get your potential outcome. So I say potential. There's always free will. You're going to do what you're going to do. And I say outcome because it's a month from now. Where are you? How do you feel about this person coming through and, um, you know, showing you appreciation? Can you forgive and move forward or is enough is enough? Let's see how you're feeling about this. We got the two of wands in reverse. Decisions have been made. Just want to make sure there's nothing coming out of here because I keep missing them. I'm having a hard time seeing, but I just love this deck. It's so beautiful. So the high priestess in reverse. Whoa. The nine of swords. The ten of wands in reverse. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Nope. And the fool. All right, what's hidden here? The sun in reverse. So, in to resting. So, you have made the choice um, with the high priestess in reverse. I feel like you listened. Um, secrets came out. Everything was revealed. I do feel like this person just put it all out there. They were really open and honest with you, um, which stressed you out a little bit. You're not sure what to think about this. Are they just saying what you want to hear? Um, do the ghosts from the past still haunt you? Do you, can you forgive this person? Can the knives come out, you know, or the swords? Um, so I feel like, but I do feel with the high priestess in reverse, this was like a sincere confession. They were very honest and open with you. Um, 
they really learned a lesson, Cancer. <laughs> sort of laugh. Um, but with the Ten of Wands in reverse, you do make the choice um, that they're not just saying what you want to hear. You trust your intuition here and you have a new beginning with this person. Yeah, a passionate new beginning. Woo! Six of Wands and the Page of Wands. So you're giving them the opportunity to give to this, to give you the attention you deserve, but also to share in this partnership and make it a 50-50 um, partnership for you. So I see you in a good spot. I see a lot of communication, a lot of passionate communication, a lot of flirting, a lot of moving forward. Um, they're good. They're, <laughs> just let's hope it lasts long because they're going to be like a major kissing your ass here because they don't want you to leave them again. <laughs> They'll be cooking dinner. They'll be taking you out to vacations. They'll be doing what they got to do to show you that they appreciate you. So I hope you enjoy those nights. So let's get your final message, Cancer. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe. It always helps my channel to grow. I appreciate that. It lets others get their reading as well. Um, let's get your final message here, which shot out. Hold on a sec. Every morning, look in the mirror and affirm positive words into your life. So as you move through your day, take a moment to look into the mirror. While looking into your own eyes, recite these words. I love myself unconditionally. I'm always enough. And this one flew. Take a rest. A field that, has, a field that has rested gives a bountiful crop. Take 10 minutes of your day to quietly observe the world around you. How can you cultivate this calm energy during this time of stress? Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.